Okay, in this video we're going to look at a couple of rather simple uh, HTML elements, uh, bold and emphasis, which you'll think of as italic if you're kind of comparing what we're doing here with uh, Word and things that you can do in a Word document. Uh, keep in mind that HTML is, a, is the structure, we're describing the structure of uh, the web page. You know, we'll probably do the, the paragraph element too while we're at it. So what we're really trying to do, it's not so much that I'm thinking that I want bold text or that I want emphasized text. I'm think, I want to think a little deeper about the kind of the meaning of those words. That's what I'm trying to build here is the meaning of the document. Paragraphs, we kind of get it. It's blocks of blocks of text, blocks of information that we would want to group together in a block, right? And it's meaningful. It has a meaning. A paragraph, we have some sort of intrinsic meaning to it with it. The same with uh, bold and italic text that you might you might make in your Word document. Uh, bold is, they're both kind of emphasizing text in some sort of way, but they are different if you think about them. Bold is a little more in your face, right? It's, uh, you know, like capital letters are, are kind of like yelling. And bold kind of has a little bit of that feel to it, even though they're not capital letters. It feels like it's a little bloated and, and a little, it's darker and a little, you know, it's bigger, darker, louder, more in your face. Italicized text, on the other hand, um, is a little more subtle, but emphasizing nonetheless. So if you want something a little more powerful in a document, if you want to emphasize with more power behind it, you would use bold. If you want a little less, if you want to be subtle about the emphasis, you would use uh, EM, uh, which is uh, by default will be italic. So the thing to keep in mind is that feeling that you're gonna that you're trying to portray. We can change those styles later. So if your notion of what bold should look like is different than what you receive from the default style, we can change that later. The same with italic. You may decide you, you you believe that italic should look bold as well, but bold and italic. Or maybe the color should be slightly different than the color of the text that's being emphasized with the M or italicized. So those styles can change what what we what the appearance looks like. We can alter we can modify later, but the underlying feeling is what we're trying to portray in the in the HTML. So let's just take a look at how they operate, and I'd also like to, to show you uh, this, this concept of nesting of elements at the same time. So let's jump right on to, I think, Putty and just throw some, throw some code in here and um, somewhere. Let's just throw it in. There's my standard page that I've been working on. Uh, I'm just going to put it ahead of the image so that we can see everything. So notice that as I build this document, uh, it is being rendered top down, right? So there is an order to what I'm doing. I, I want the the links first, and uh, then I'm going to have some sort of text I'm going to put in, and then there's my image. Uh, so let's start with a paragraph because we should they should all be a paragraph of some sort. This is I'm just going to type this as a paragraph. I misspell already, of course. Okay, and then we'll put the closing tag, right? Because there's always a closing tag with these, with most. You already so you saw an example of an element that doesn't have a closing tag. That was the image. So I did do it right. Paragraph. This is a paragraph. And then I'll do a bold. Okay, and then I'll do I don't like that, that's ugly. Get it in line there, right? Okay, and then yeah.
Okay, and then close it. There's three new ta elements in there. I'm just glancing over. I want to make sure that I did not miss any closing um, tags. Maybe I'll show you today what happens if you miss a closing tag. I'm going to go right out and we're going to refresh and see what happened on the web page. So we'll jump to the browser and I will refresh. And that's what we have. Let's see, there's bold text, yeah. So you can see the two, I have a paragraph and notice that there is a line break open space above and below the paragraph just as we would have in a paragraph uh, in, a, in a book or somewhere, something. And there's my bold text and the emphasized or uh, italicized text. So some things I guess I don't, uh, we, we probably want those to have a line break after the, the text, right? So maybe we should put a, a BR in there. So we'll go back to Putty here. Let me go back to Putty and drop a BR right after bold text. BR. Okay. A BR is just a line break. It does not have content or closing text. And then we'll write out and then back to the browser. And refresh. And we got our line break in there. Okay, so that's one thing we can do. Also, let's look at then how we might, maybe we want bold or emphasized text inside this paragraph. So is that possible? Back to Putty. And let's come to the up to the paragraph. Bold. Wait a Did I do it right? Yeah. Okay. So one thing I'd like to point out here also is that the the text I'm I didn't do that right, did I? Hold on, we want to do this. The close I want there. Let me see, what did I do here? Oh, oh okay, I was just on the wrong line. This is bold. So I did my, my B there. I do not need this space. Bold text and I close the B. And I'll say in a in a paragraph. Okay, let's do it right out. And refresh. Go ahead, browser just went away. There we go. Oh, I didn't. Switch over so you can see it. All right, and you see my bold text right here. It's bold text in a paragraph. Uh, of course, I need that. Oh, I, I do see why I'm missing the space there. All right, I took it out, but I shouldn't have. But anyway, you see that I can nest that, and I could I can nest as much as I want. So I can come back here. I already fixed that space before I switched over for you. And I so I could do this even. So now I have a paragraph. Right? The paragraph is the whole line because it starts here and we'll have a paragraph will continue all the way until we come across the closed P there, closed paragraph, closed tag. 
then I have inside of there, I have bold text. So all of this, until I hit the B, is going to be bold. And everything here will be emphasized until I hit the EM. So this kind of illustrates or, or implies what can happen. Here, I'll even show it to you what can happen. I was going to say if you write this out. Enter. Refresh this browser. Oh, I'm not going to i got to switch it over. No, I'll refresh it. Browser. And refresh. Okay. So, we have bold. And emphasized bold where emphasized was not bold before it now is because I put the emphasized inside the bold okay so this is both bold and emphasized okay so what what's gonna happen what's gonna go wrong with this you may get confused about where you are in this nesting and if you were to do such a thing as this Forget to close your bold. Yeah, that's what I want to do. Okay, write out. Enter. And we'll refresh this browser. Let me get you on the browser. And then refresh. So you see how the bold has now continued through everything, right? Because the browser's look and look and look and it thinks it thinks the browser doesn't it doesn't think anything. Sorry, I said that again. It's waiting it, it it's wait it's bolding, bolding, bolding until it comes across the close bold, the close B, the closing tag for the bold, and it never finds it. So it just keeps thinking that or it doesn't think anything either. It just keeps making everything bold until it finally will come across that. So I could uh, bolded at some later point, but my tags are getting mismatched. They're, the nesting is being disturbed. If I were to say bold it down here, close the bold right here, it would not, the, things would not be matching up properly, right? So uh, we want to be careful that we make our closes, our close tags, we don't forget them. And you may, if you're working on something and you see the whole, well, suddenly the whole document is is one thing or another. It's a big giant paragraph, or it's a, everything's bold, or everything's emphasized. Then what's likely to have happened? Here, let me save this, and I'll come back to you here. Let's get this back to the way it should be. Okay. And you see the whole document is affected in some sort of way from one of these tags, then likely the culprit is that you forgot to, to close an element. Uh, and this can happen uh, when, if, if in, in even more nef nefarious kind of ways, uh, if you forgot to close the head element, that's this one, up here, what up, right here, then... Um, things can get pretty weird <laughs> when you do that because the, the head element, the head, head portion of this document, this HTML document is meant for the browser. It's not meant for the viewer of the website to be reading this content inside of the head. Anything that's inside of the head is you talking to the browser, not to another human that's reading this page. Uh, the body is for that. So if you don't close the the head, if you forgot the head tag to close it, then the browser thinks the head, the whole document is the head. It, does, it never knows that the head ended and the body began. And so weird things can uh, result from that. So we did uh, bold, paragraph, bold, emphasis, and nesting in this video. And I, I don't think it was terribly difficult. So I'm going to cut this one off so we have a short one. Um, I'll see you in the next video.